Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and on this channel we talk all things home decor, home aesthetics, mixing high and low with new and old. And in today's video we're going to be doing some fireplace mantle styling. So if this is something you are interested in watching, please feel free to keep watching. But without further ado, let's get into this. So we're going to be putting together a few fireplace mantle styles. This has been a request for quite some time and as I have been putting it off because I don't have the best mantle for styling because I have an 82 inch TV above it. I gave my mom a call. We were at my mom's house and I said, do you mind if I come in and do a couple styles? And she said, no problem. So that is exactly where I'm at. And I figured this mantle is absolutely perfect for styling. That way I could give you guys a couple of ideas if this is an area you are struggling with. The biggest dilemma when it comes to styling a mantle is the depth. Typically you don't have a lot of space to work with in this general area. If I can link things down below, I will do my best to have it by style. I do want to say to you guys that I apologize for the lighting within this video because not only is it a rainy day here in San Diego, but my mom's house is a 1950s ranch style home. So she actually doesn't have any recessed lighting and I forgot my lighting box. So bear with me on the lighting as it is a little bit darker than normal, but I hope you guys still enjoy this video. So while we start our first style for reference, this mantle is six and a half feet long by eight inches deep. So there's not too much room to work with. So again, like I was saying in my intro all of these styles had to be extremely intentional because decor is very important it has to be a certain size in order to fit and flow nicely on this mantle so starting with the first style I'm gonna be bringing in two different vases I love these because they are similar but they are two different sizes so if you can do something like this I would suggest bringing two of the same but in two different sizes so we're gonna start on the far right side now as you can see we do have a mirror above so what I'm gonna be doing is framing out that mirror as best so that I can. So the next element is going to be bringing in a stem. These are going to be so important when it comes to styling because it's not only going to bring in color, it's going to bring in height and it's going to add so much visual interest to your mantle. So I really recommend bringing in some sort of faux stem or live as well. So we're going to be bringing in these really beautiful ficus stems to the larger base. When it comes to your stems, make sure you are mixing the different height variations. I really do manipulate the branches. I'll make them bend. I will pull the leaves part that way they look as realistic as possible so if you are styling with faux stems on your mantle be sure to manipulate them before putting them in your base so the next aspect I'm going to be bringing in are two candlestick holders now I have one that's taller than the other you will notice in every single one of these styles I use candlestick holders I'm going to be bringing in some white candlesticks lastly we're going to be bringing in some vintage books these are books that my mom have one thing that I really love about vintage books is their size like I said, depth is really against us in this styling process. So bringing in vintage books that run a little bit smaller are going to be your best friend when it comes to styling a mantle. Now I'm not 100% a fan of the colors. I'm gonna be quite honest. This red is really throwing me off. So simply just turning them around so that way you just see the pages more so than the spines is really gonna help elevate your look. I'm just gonna set these books right to those candlestick holders. So style number one, we have a lot of symmetry. We have height here and we have height here. We do have a symmetrical type style. And then I really love that these branches are framing out that mirror again. So this is gonna be style number one for you guys. bringing in a real stem. These are just stems from my mom's olive tree outside. I just did a couple clippings. I wanted something a little bit more dramatic, something really big. So instead of taking small branches, I took really big branches with height. I just paired them in a beautiful glass vase with some water and we're gonna style this on the left-hand side of the mantle. So I'm bringing in two different types of coffee table books. These are all decor items that I brought from my own home. So I really had to find books that were a smaller size because again, this is only eight inches in depth. So we really had to be strategic with the decor elements. So smaller coffee table books for this and that's just gonna go on the right side of the vase. I'm gonna be adding in a really beautiful vintage wooden bowl with some dried artichokes. This is gonna give it a really organic feel and it's also gonna bring some more visual interest to this look since we are mixing different textures as well as different elements 
elements. So this is just gonna go right on top of those books. Now we're gonna be bringing in some artwork to the space. If you can bring artwork to your mantle, I highly recommend it because it's going to bring so much more visual interest to an overall look and feel of a mantle style. I think it's bringing in another element. So in this case, I'm bringing in a beautiful landscape that's gonna play off the color tones of our greenery to the left. And it's really just gonna bring another element and another layer to a mantle styling. So with this one, I do have it on a little stand. You could also lean it up against the wall if you want, but we're gonna just place this to the right of the mirror. We're adding in another trio set of candlestick holders. So these are just black wrought iron. They come in tall, medium, and small, just for some extra added height on the right side of this mantle to play off of our stems on the left. Style number three is going to be for my minimalists, those who don't want a lot of stuff going on but still want something so it doesn't feel stale and just boring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be bringing in some artwork. This is a piece of artwork that I had from my own home. I just added a beautiful spring inspired image there so we could reflect more of the season. So we're gonna just style this to the left of the mirror. Next item we're gonna be adding are two vintage pots. I have one that is a little bit taller and darker in color and then I have one that is a little bit smaller smaller and a little bit lighter in color. So kind of playing off of that same concept of bringing in something that is the same, but two different heights is really gonna play a very interesting part in your overall style. So we're gonna style this to the right of the mirror. One thing you guys will notice with this style, I'm actually doing something a little bit different. We are pairing the larger vase inside versus it having be on the outside. And we're gonna just place a couple of live stems of those olive branches in the taller vase. So we are playing with a little bit of a different orientation than I normally do. So let's see how this looks. So like I mentioned, this is gonna be the style for someone that is a little bit more minimal that wants something, but not a lot going on. And really there is very minimal things here. So this is style number three. So for this next style, this is going to be for my maximalist. People that love having a lot more going on, that love a really full and decorated mantle. This is gonna be a style for you guys. So we're gonna start with the artwork, which is actually a photograph that my mom took. You guys will see I snagged this off of her wall. And the reasoning I took this from her is because I needed something that was not only black and white, but a vertical orientation as well. And something that's really fun fact for you guys, my mom is from a small town called Troutdale, Oregon. And this is a photograph that she took of Mount Noma Falls that is right next to her hometown. So a lot of meaning behind this picture. So I wanted to make sure to use it for this next style. Next, I'm gonna be bringing in a glass face filled with water and we're actually gonna be putting some faux stems in this. If you have caught one of my home hacks, I've recommended in the past of utilizing a glass face with water and putting stems in it for a more realistic look. So we're just gonna put this to the left of that picture. Next, we're gonna be adding two more wrought iron candlestick holders to the left of that vase. Moving to the right side of the mantle, we're gonna be bringing in two more of those rod candlestick holders. We're just gonna be doing the smaller one inward and the taller one on the outside. Just framing out this artwork. Last items to this mantle styling, we're gonna be bringing in two coffee table books and then we're gonna be bringing in a wooden pot with a live house plant. This is my mom's that I just kind of snagged from her kitchen. So we're gonna be putting this on the far right. All right, style five, we are bringing in more artwork. I'm telling you when it comes to fireplace mantle styling, lean into your artwork. It's going to make this kind of dull space feel so much more elevated and more designer looking. So we're gonna start with this on the far left. Next two items, we're bringing in two more vintage books. These are my mom's that I'm utilizing. I'm also gonna be bringing in a vintage antique brass pedestal bowl just to go right there on top. The next decor item we're gonna be adding to the right of those books 
and Pedestal R2 candlestick holders. I love these for their shape, their height, the most beautiful detailing here that I think will add so much just character to any style. So we're just gonna style these to the right. Bringing in our green factor again, hopefully you guys don't get sick of these, but I have been loving the real stems for all these styles. So the last decor element of this kind of cluster to my left is we're gonna be bringing in this really fun black wrought iron horse that you guys will recognize. And then I'm also gonna be pairing that with a really fun little pedestal candle with a pillar that I got from Hobby lobby have your personality shined through if you've been with me you guys know i love horses so this is something that i'm into and something that i thought would be really fun to showcase on this mantle styling so whatever you are into if there are different decor elements that you can bring into your home to make it feel a little bit more like you and show that there's a little bit more personality going on i highly recommend that so we're going to just be adding these two little elements to this last cluster of greens So the sixth and final mantle styling for you guys, we're gonna be starting with this really fun, long, very shallow and very narrow wooden, what would you call this? Like what is this considered, a tray? Sound off in the comments. I am at a loss of what to even consider this, but I found this in my mom's pantry and we're rolling with it. So I'm gonna be placing this directly underneath the middle of the mirror. To add some color, I'm gonna be adding a bowl filler to this tray and I'm just bringing in some dried artichokes. These are gonna not only add some texture because of the shape of them, but they're gonna be bringing in some really beautiful muted color. So I'm just gonna line those all the way across. The next decor element is our wrought iron candlestick holders. So we're just gonna be placing those on the right hand side. And lastly, our trusted greens to the left of these beautiful dried artichokes. This is a very simple and clean style. Now, one thing you could do for this, I played around with putting books on the bottom of this vase or leaving it as is. So here's it without books, or you can add books just underneath that vase for some extra added elevation. I would probably stick with a neutral book, but you can also do that as well or leave it without. So that is the sixth and final fireplace mantle style. All right guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along into my mom's home for this fireplace mantle styling video. Hopefully you got some ideas. I know fireplace mantle styling can be challenging because we're working with limited space, very narrow depths. So hopefully these styles will spark some sort of inspiration for you when it comes to your own. But until next time, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.